Welcome to the House of Commons Chamber, the place where our elected representatives or members of parliament come to discuss bills or issues that concern themselves or their constituents and to question the government. Now this is the 20th century part of the building after it was rebuilt following the destruction of the original chamber in the Second World War. Now when the chamber was rebuilt, Commonwealth countries contributed to the cost of the materials to rebuild the place. For example, the doors into the chamber are from India and Pakistan, the table of the house from Canada, the bar of the house from Jamaica, and the speaker's chair from Australia. Now the speaker sits right behind me in the middle of the room, and their job is to keep order during debates and to call MPs to speak. To his or her right hand side on those benches, that is where Her Majesty's Government sits, and behind them, the MPs belonging to the government party. To the Speaker's left-hand side, that is where the official opposition sits, and beyond them is where the other opposition parties sit, uh, just underneath the gangway. Further along is a single chair which is used by the Sergeant-at-Arms, the parliamentary official who is responsible for the security in the House of Commons. The dispatch boxes on the table are where the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition stand, or whichever Minister or Shadow Minister are speaking at the time. And at the end of the table, at the top and the bottom, are the holders for the mace. Now the mace is a symbol of royal authority, without which the House of Commons cannot sit and debate. Now the mace is brought in and out of the House by the Sergeant at Arms in a procession at the beginning and the end of each day. Now if you'd like to come and see the proceedings here in the House of Commons, the public gallery is just above us and anyone can turn up and ask to be admitted. However, depending on what's being debated in the chamber on that particular day, you might have to wait a while. If you're a UK citizen, you can apply for a ticket through your local MP. To find out what legislation and other topics are due to be discussed, then you can go to the Parliament website at www.parliament.uk. Now, right at the back, above the Speaker's chair, is the press gallery, where accredited journalists and reporters from Parliament's official report sit. Now, the official report is called Hansard, after the 18th century printer who produced the House of Commons Journal and it's a record of what was said inside this chamber. Now the report is produced daily and bound into volumes. It can also be read and searched for on the Parliament website only a few hours after proceedings have taken place. Now people say that this chamber is a lot smaller in real life than it looks on TV. Well that's because when it was rebuilt after 1945 it was deliberately kept to be the same size so to preserve that air of intimacy. In fact, there's room here for about 430 of the 650 members of Parliament, which means on particularly busy parliamentary days, it gets very crowded in here and the atmosphere is electric. The other films in this series will show you the debating chambers used by the Lords and Commons, parts of the Old Palace, as well as introducing you to the work that Parliament does. We hope you enjoy your tour.